Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. In this video, I will talk about primary and secondary memory. Before we start, I would like to introduce my team. First of all, my name is Nuran Shafiqah binti Aris, and the next one is Nurul Ain Nadirah binti Muhammad Suhaimi, and then Nur Aina Sahira binti M Suryato at Cairo, and the last one, Nur Izatu Ain binti Jamain. So this is overview about our video, which is we got primary memory, secondary memory, computer memory, primary versus secondary and memory technology. So, what is computer memory? Computer memory stores information such as data, programs, for immediate use in the computer. So, computer memory divided into two, which is primary memory and secondary memory. In primary memory, we got RAM and ROM, which is I will explain it later. So, in secondary memory, we got HDD, SSD, compact disk, floppy disk, and magnetic. So, what is primary memory? Let me explain to you. So, what is primary memory? Primary memory is sections of computer memory that the CPU can access directly. The access time of primary memory is faster than secondary and cache memory in the memory hierarchy. And it also has a storage capacity that lower than the secondary memory but higher than the cache memory. As I said before, primary memory consists of two types, which is random access memory RAM and read-only memory ROM. So, I will explain about RAM. RAM provides high-speed short-term memory for the computer CPU. It is a crucial component in a computer system that is used to store data and programs that are actively being used or processed by CPU. So, it's a volatile memory type which means it will lose its data and the instructions when the power is turned off. For your information, there is various types of RAM, so let's look into SRAM. SRAM is static random access memory which is used latching circuitry flip or flip flop to store each bit. SRAM holds its data permanently in the presence of power and it is also faster than DRAM but more expensive in terms of silicon area and pass. SRAM used for the cache and internal register of a CPU while DRAM is used for a computer's main memory. Next, DRAM. DRAM stands for Dynamic Random Access Memory. It stores each bit of data in a memory cells. It requires less power than the SRAM in an active state. DRAM also widely used in the digital electronic to provide low-cost, high-capacity memory. It is also allows the PC processor to access any part of the memory directly than having to proceed sequentially from a starting place. Next, SDRAM. SDRAM stands for Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory. It is operates in sense with the system clock speeds, allowing for faster data transfer. It is used in computers to store and quickly retrieve data that the CPU needs while the computer is running. The important is, SDRAM can enhance the efficiency of data transfer, contributing to better overall system performance. Next is RDRAM. RDRAM stands for Rambus Dynamic Random Access Memory. It is designed to provide high bandwidth data transfer between the CPU and memory. RDRAM uses high-speed serial interface, allowing for faster data transmissions. It is not commonly used in modern computers. So the last type of RAM is DDRSD RAM, which stands for Double Data Rate Synchronous Dynamic Random Access Memory. It transfers data on both the rising and falling edges of the clock signal, effectively doubling the data transfer rate. DDR SD RAM comes in different generations, which is DDR1, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4, and the latest version is DDR5, offering improvements in data transfer rates, energy efficiency, and overall performance. Another primary memory type is read only memory room. ROM is a non-volatile memory that can retain stored information even after the power is removed. Data stored in ROM cannot be electronically modified after the manufacture of the memory device. ROM is useful for storing software that is rarely changed during the life of the system, also known as firmware. So, as we know, there are two main types of memory, which is primary memory and secondary memory. What you need to know about secondary memory is, secondary memory is a non-volatile persistent and not immediately accessible by a computer or processor. Secondary memory allows user to store data and information that can be retrieved, transmitted, and used by apps and services quickly and easily. Secondary memory also known as auxiliary memory. 
The use of secondary memory. Secondary memory provides permanent storage which can keep data indefinitely even if the power supply is turned off. Other than that, secondary memory has large storage. It provides a significant amount of storage space allowing us to store large amounts of data such as films, photographs, audio files and other items permanently. Other than that, secondary memory is portable. Some of the secondary device can be removed. As a result, one can store data and transfer them effortlessly from one device to another. So, I will explain about secondary memory type. Secondary memory type has two types, which is fixed storage and removable storage. Fixed storage and internal media device used to store data in a computer system. Fixed storage does not preclude their removal from the computer system with the assistance of an expert or engineer. You may remove the fixed storage device for repair, upgrade, or maintenance, among other things. Okay, so here are the different types of fixed storage. Uh, first, hard disk drive. Uh, second, solid state disk, which is SSD. And last one, internal flash memory. In next, removable storage. Removable storage is an external device used for storing data on a computer secondary memory. Removable storage, commonly known as disk drive or external drive, can be easily insert or withdrawn from a computer system where it is still running. Their portability allows for effortless data transfer between computers and they offer high speed data information transfers media to storage area networks. Here are the types of removable storage. Optical disk such as DVD, CD, Blu-ray disk, and ETC. Floppy disk, memory card, disk pad, magnetic tapes, paper storage such as punch card, punch tape, and ETC. The next one is secondary memory device. There are eight of them. Number one is floppy disk. A floppy disk refers to a magnetic disk housed in a square plastic container. It is primarily used to store information and then transfer it from one device to another. There are two sizes of floppy disks. The first one is 3.5 inch with 1.44 megabyte storage capacity, and the second one is 5.25 inch with 1.2 megabyte storage capacity. The computer must consist of a floppy disk drive for using a floppy disk. Such a storage device is now obsolete, and DVDs, CDs, and flash drives have taken its place. Number two is compact disk. A compact disk or the CD is a type of secondary storage media that is widely utilized. Its surface is covered in track and sectors. It is composed of polycarbonate plastic and has a round form. CDs have a data storage capacity of up to 700 megabytes. A CD is also known as a CD-ROM because computers can read the data on it but not write new data onto it. There are two types of CDs. The first one is CDR or Compact Disk Recordable. It is not possible to remove data that has been written onto it. It can only be read. The second one is CDRW or Compact Disk Rewritable. It's a particular kind of CD that allows us to wipe and rewrite data as many times as we desire. So, it's also known as an erasable CD. Number three is Digital Versatile Disk. DVD stands for Digital Versatile Disk. It resembles a CD, but it has a large storage capacity. Up to 4.7 GB of data can be stored. To use a DVD on a computer, a DVD-ROM drive is required. Video files such as movies or video recordings are commonly set on DVD, which may be played with a DVD player. There are three different kinds of DVD available. First one is DVD-ROM. The manufacturer writes the data on the DVD-ROM, and the users can only read it. They cannot create new data onto it. For example, the movie DVD has already been written by the maker, and we can only watch it. We cannot add new data to it. The second one is DVD-R. You can write data on the DVD-R, but only once. It is not possible to remove data that has been written onto it. It can only be read. The third one is DVD-RW. It's a particular kind of DVD that allows us to wipe and rewrite data as many times as we desire. It's also known as an erasable DVD. Number four is Blu-ray disc. It resembles a CD or VD, but it can actually hold up to 25GB data or information. You need a Blu-ray reader if you wish to use a Blu-ray disc. The name Blu-ray comes from the technology used to read the disc. Blue comes from a blue-violet laser, and gray comes from an optical ray. Number five is hard disk. Hard disks, often known as hard disk drives, are available in a variety of storage capacities. For example, 256 GB, 500 GB, 1 TB, and 2 TB. It is made up of platters, which are a collection of disks. These dishes are stacked one on top of the other. Internal and external hard disks are the two types of hard disks. Number six is flash drive. 
a flash drive or pen drive is available in a variety of storage capacities, including 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 gigabyte, and also 1 terabyte. Data is transferred and stored using a flash drive. It must be plugged into a computer's USB port. Number 7 is Solid Stack Disk. Solid Stack Disk, or known as SSD, is a data storage and retrieval device that is non volatile. It's faster, makes no noise, uses less electricity, and so on. If the price is right, it's a perfect replacement for regular hard drive in laptops and desktops. It's also ideal for tablets, notebooks, and other devices that don't require a lot of storage. Last but not least, SD card. Secure digital card or known as SD card is commonly used to store data in a portable devices. It comes in a variety of capacities, including 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64 GB. You can access the data present in the SD card by removing it from the device and inserting it into a computer using a card reader. Okay, so this is comparison between primary memory and secondary memory. So first, volatility. Primary memory is volatile, meaning it loses its contents when the power is turned off. It used for temporary storage during the execution of programs. Uh, secondary memory is not volatile, retaining data even when the power is turned off. It is used for long-term storage. Second, speed. Primary memory is faster than secondary memory, providing quick access to data that the CPU needs during operation. Uh, secondary memory speed is lower than primary memory. Access time are higher, making it less suitable for tasks that require quick retrieval of data during program execution. And the last one, capacity. So, uh, primary memory capacity typically has a limited capacity compared to secondary memory. It is designed for storing and quickly, quickly retrieving active data. Uh, second memory capacity offer larger storage capacities compared to primary memory as it is the main storage location for file application uh, and the operating system. So this is the example of latest memory technology which uh, I chose Kingston Fury Impact DDR5. Its benefit is a mighty DDR5 SOD performance. It is also easy to install which is plug and play automatic overlocking functionality. It is come with Intel SMP 3.0 certifieds. Most important thing is it's low power consumption and increased efficiency. So that's all from us. Thank you for watching.